Welcome, everyone, to a March Madness postgame chat. I'm Andy Katz. Pleased to be joined by Baylor's Davion Mitchell. 20 points in a 94-89 overtime victory at the WVU Coliseum. That's where we find Davion right now. Uh, look, we've had a lot of good games this season. I think this one potentially could be the best in the regular season. First off, what was it like to play in this overtime game? Uh, like you said, uh, it was definitely one of the best games I ever played in. It was just back and forth the whole game. Um, they hit shots. We hit shots. Uh, we needed we needed points. They had to get a stop, and, and we we did it with Jerry. Hit that uh, layup at the end of the game. Um, they needed a point. They came down and shot. I think a pull up or something like that. I mean, it was just a fun game to be in, man. Like it's just a surreal feeling being in that game. Um, you all, like it's something you always work for. I mean, we always we all every day of practice. I mean, we we work for this. Like we work for all that. This is Baylor's first conference championship. Since 1950, uh, that's bef long before either one of us were, were born. Okay, so uh, put that in perspective that now you're a part of a Baylor team that won the first conference championship because there's steps you got to do before you can compete for a national championship. Right. First conference championship since 1950. Man, it's definitely crazy to think. About. I didn't know it was, uh, since 1950. You said it is a long time. Um, but we know, man, we just took this game as a one and know. I mean, I feel like we did a real good job uh, down stretch to win this game. I mean, I feel like our, the job's not finished, though. Like, we even though that we won the Big 12 championship and that was one of our goals, we just feel like we still got more games to play. We still got a lot of basketball to play, and we're ready for it. All right, so for those of us on the outside, we see you hadn't played since February 2nd. Come back, really struggle against Iowa State. Got to come back from double digits back. You lose at Kansas. No shame in that, but you know you guys did not play as well. Um, legitimately, how concerned were you about when you guys might play close to the way you were playing before the pause? Uh, I wasn't really concerned. I mean, we knew that Iowa State wasn't really a good game. We didn't play really well. The Kansas day, I feel like we played better. I mean, they just had a better game plan. They was they played it to way tougher than we did that game, but we knew we played better than we played in Iowa State. So it was only a matter of time. We was going to try to get back to ourselves. I feel like tonight we did a real good job of trying to get back to ourselves. I feel like defensively we could do more things for us to get back to ourselves, like you said. But, I mean, offensively, I think we did a real good job sharing the ball, um, rebounding, things that we do, uh, finding an open man, um, just making big shots. I just feel like uh, an office and we was definitely uh, ourselves. So you guys stayed on the road. What was it like the last 48 hours um, since that uh... – you know, loss at Kansas? Uh, it was definitely like a, a dull moment. I mean, if people wanted to go home, uh, they got, got tired of being in the hotel. I mean, they probably was thinking like, all right, we just lost. We don't want to be here. But I mean, I feel like in practice, we had a real good practice. Um, one of those days, it was really hard practice. Um, I think that's what really prepared us for today because it was like a really tough practice. Uh, we got up and down a couple of times, did rebounding drills, uh, things that makes us tougher. And I think it, it showed up tonight. I mean, I think us staying on the road definitely helped us because uh, the whole time we're locked in to the next game. All right, lastly, you got the rest of this week and you got the Big 12 tournament before you can get to the NCAA tournament. Uh, and at least in the early rounds, potentially free of Big 12 teams. Um, what's the mindset right now to still get through this minefield of Big 12 teams between this weekend and the next week in Kansas City? Uh, just to go one and oh every each game. I um, mean, even uh, in practice, go one and oh, get better. Um, each game, keep getting back to ourselves. Uh, I feel like we're going to get better. We're going to watch film together and we're going to see the mistakes we did defensively to get better. I mean, I feel like um, we'll be ready for it, though. I mean, just, just like I said, we got to go one and every one and oh every game. Davion, appreciate it. Congratulations on the Big 12 championship. As I said, the first for Baylor since 1950 when they used to be in the Southwest Conference. I uh, have a safe trip home. Uh, hopefully, we'll see you soon. And uh, congrats again. Thank you for having me.